Hello viewers. In this video, I'm going to explain how to design a MATLAB code for a numerical scheme to solve a fractional order differential equation defined under the atangana baliano fractional operator in the Caputo sense. The numerical scheme is proposed by Professor Tofik and Professor Tangana in this research paper. So let me show you the scheme. The scheme is shown by equation number 8. I have chosen here example 1 for the simulation. So this is example 1, a linear fractional order differential equation along with this initial condition as you can see in equation number 15. Exact solution of this differential equation is shown by equation number 16 where the term 2 alpha is a small typo here that is why i have solved this linear differential equation using laplace transform technique so let me show you the procedure of finding the exact solution of this ordinary differential equation shown in equation number 15. so as you can see on the screen i have taken this initial value problem i have taken the laplace transform on both sides the Laplace transform of the left hand side is given by this formula. One can find out this formula in many of the research papers written by Professor Tangana and his colleagues. Laplace transform of the right hand side is 2 upon s cubed. Since y of 0 we are given 0, I have substituted this value and then this step reduces to the last step as you can see on the screen. So for the simplification has been performed here, it is easy to understand the simple uh, computation. I move to the next slide where I have taken the inverse Laplace transform on both sides of this equation, the very first equation on the slide. And then after some simplification, we have reached at this last step. So finally, we have this exact solution where you can see that we have obtained 3 alpha whereas in the research paper it was written as 2 alpha so this is a small typo that can be corrected now i switch to matlab code for the simulation of this initial value problem so you can see this is the same code i have already explained in one of my previous videos here i have taken the fractional order to be 3 upon 4 this is the formula for ABC. You can find this formula in the research paper. This is the initial condition. The step size that I have chosen is 0 0.1. And the final point of the integration interval is taken by me as 1. Now you can see this is a differential equation we are given. Line number 14. And now on line number 15, you can see that we have the exact solution where I have made the correction over here. Now this is the same loop for the numerical scheme proposed by these two professors and as I had shown you that scheme that was defined by equation number 8 in the research paper. So since we are given the exact solution we are capable to find the absolute errors and those errors I have found using the command as you can see on line number 24 and now I have found what is the error that occurs at the final mesh point that is t is equal to 1. So let's run this code and then let's see what is the result in the command window. So you can see the error with step size 0 0.1 is 6.2980 10 to the power minus 2. So let me further decrease the step size to 0 0.01 and run the script again. You can see that now the error is 10 to the power minus 3. Let me decrease the step size by one more uh, order of magnitude in the step size. And now you can see that the error also reduces by one order of magnitude. So it seems by this behavior, it seems that the numerical scheme proposed in the research paper is a first order convergent scheme. Now we can also plot the exact solution and then approximate solution on the same graphing window in order to get the plot you will have to use the command of plot simply and then this is independent variable t and then you have the exact solution let me plot this exact solution with the black color and then i will hold on this plot on the figure window and then i will plot the approximate answer which 
uh, approximate results which I have denoted by the variable y and then I use the blue color for this approximation. And now I change the step size to 0 0.1. Let's run the script, the script to see the picture and you can see that black color is the curve for the exact solution whereas the blue curve is the curve for the for the curve of the approximations that we have obtained by that numerical scheme. Now let me reduce the step size to 0 0.01 and run the script again and now you can see that it is hard to find the both the curves so somehow they are overlapping. Now if I decrease the step size further it will become harder to identify both the curves. So now both the curves are coinciding each other they agree to each other very well. So that's it so I have actually recorded this video because there was a small typo in the research paper while writing the solution so that is why I have repeated this video in order to make the clarification. Thank you for watching.